excited. I know you guys are excited. We're all excited. Without further ado, let's go straight into this. The Dueling Fate. As you guys can see on the screen, the new update is out right now. The new patch, 707 update, representing two new heroes. Dante the Pangolier and Mareska Dark Willow. Now, wow, look at this. Look at this. It's shaking. It's trembling. Everything. Let's let's click on Mareska and see what's going on. Is it going to put on the hero screen or... Introducing Dark Willow. Some fun, shall we? Let's have some fun, shall we? Of course, why not? Ah, it's a range support hero. Nuker, Disabler, and Escape. First spell being a Brumble Maze. Dark Willow creates a maze of Brumbles in a dark area. Enemies that walk into the Brumble take damage and are rooted. Okay, I've seen this on YouTube. So basically, she can like create a small forest. It's not, it's not like a forest, but it's like a maze with like five, six of these brambles. And like if you touch any of those, you're rooted a couple of seconds, 2.5 seconds at the end, and you take damage. Now, guys, I'm talking 250 damage each hit. So if you get trapped inside of these, and then let's say you have to hit two of those to get out, you're going to take 500 damage <laughs> and be rooted for five seconds. That's incredible for a team fight. Team fight, this is crazy, guys. This is crazy. And it's a first spell. Second spell is a Shadow Realm. Wow. She becomes untargetable and her next attack has increased range and deals bonus magic damage. Now, I heard it with this spell. The longer you stay untouchable or untargetable in the Shadow Realm, the more damage you do at the end. To a maximum of 360 damage. <clears throat> I like that. I like this here already. The third spell of... Spell of... Oh. Dark Willow has a third spell of... Look at me. Haha. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Anyway. Dark Willow casts an Ancient Fake Curse on the target. After a delay, the target or nearby enemies are stunned. So basically, she targets the area, she puts a curse, and after 4 seconds, all the enemies inside of that area are stunned for 3.5 seconds. Now, if you do a 5-man stun, GG well played, everybody. You die. They kill you. Easy. Now, she has two ultimates. Guys, it's a Bedlam and Terrorize. Now, the first one, she puts a Pet Wisp around her to follow her and to deal damage. That's super exciting because that Wisp deals a lot of damage. If it's a single target, you have a high chance to kill that person easily. If you're surrounded by enemies every 2.25 seconds, the Wisp is going to attack every one of them around you. And it's huge damage, guys. 225. Holy. You know. Now, the second one is Terrorize. And if you cast it in that area, all the heroes within that area will be made to run to their fountain for four seconds. So if you hit all five of them, they will all start running towards their fountain for four seconds. They won't be able to control their heroes or do anything. They'll just run in fear. How awesome is that, right? So this hero is amazing. I like the talent trees. I've seen them all. You can increase the terrorize duration, increase the cast range, gold per minute, shadow realm, max damage, or you can get 10% spell lifesteal. There's a lot of things you can do with this hero. And I, I think the builds are going to be amazing. Now, <clears throat> I've seen that you can buy mortal items for this hero and for the pangolier as well. On a courier, you get a ward. But these are all like a part of a set that was able, you know, it's it was 33% off. I don't know, right now, maybe. It's, maybe it's not, I don't know. Anyway, let's go see the other hero. I want to click on the pangolier. <clears throat> the Honorable Dante Panman at your service. Oh, wow, look at that. I already like this guy. He's got like a positive attitude and everything else. I like to. The white on the background, everything is nice. And, you know, there's, there's like, it just this picture represents some like good vibrations. He's a melee carry, new current, disable, durable, escape, and initiator. All right, I already love this guy. He's like an armadillo or something, if I'm correct, with a fencing sword. Wow. Now, the first spell is Swashbuck, and it cannot be dispelled. It's physical damage. It's a vector targeted spell. Okay, guys, for all of you who don't know what a vector targeting system is, <clears throat> please make sure to go watch some videos on YouTube about Pangolier. The best one I've seen so far is made by Sunsfan and Dota Cinema. So just go uh, just go to YouTube and type Dota Cinema, Pangolier, and you will see everything about that hero. This is not a paid sponsorship to Sunsfan or Dota Cinema. I'm just referring to that video. I'm not saying anything else, okay? So I'm just saying that the one I saw explained by Sunsfan was incredible. Now... When you click on a target area, and then when, once you click on that area, you have to uh, point your mouse in a certain direction. 
that's what vector targeting is. And then this guy will roll to that direction and then it's going to start attacking to the direction where you point to your mouse. Like for example, it's going to roll in a certain direction and then attack north or south, up and down, you know, it doesn't matter where you pose the mouse. So it's easy. Now we have a shield crash. Is Pierce a spell immunity? No. This guy jumps in the air and slams back to the ground, damaging all enemies in a radius. Like for each enemy hero hit, he gains a percentage of incoming damage reduction for a short time. A maximum of what I saw was 14% per hero. If you hit 5 heroes, well, 5 multiplied by 14 is a lot of, you know. So he can get up to 70% damage reduction. And I think this damage reduction works for spells and physical damage as well. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll check that one later. Um, the next one is Heart Piercer, and it cannot be dispelled. It's a passive spell. Ooh, I like the passive ability. It reads enemies perfectly. Okay, on every attack, you have a 15% chance. Wow. To slow the enemy for 52 seconds, you slow their... Okay, movement speed for 50... Wow. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just amazed. So, basically, you slow their movement speed by 50 duration is five and the debuff stays two seconds that's incredible and i think you can proc this by using your first spell <clears throat> we'll, we'll get to that later so let's see you see him if for example if you hit your enemies with your first spell he can proc his heart piercer and make that enemy slow or those enemies whoever is in the way <clears throat> and this ultimate is rolling thunder <clears throat> you become this great ball just rolling on the ground you can control it but you're taking curves ability Ability to take curves is like reduced, so you cannot go left and right as easy or quickly as you were while you were not rolling down. However, every enemy you hit will be stunned for 1.5 seconds, will be knocked back by 150 range, and you can, guys, seriously, it takes 1.2 seconds to transform, but you can travel long distances. And I'm also talking damage. He deals damage to every enemy hit, creeps, whatever. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. It can hit walls, cliffs, or cause a temporary pause while playing the reverse's direction. It, it's great. This spell is amazing. You will see it in the game, and you will see a lot of videos about this on YouTube in the next couple of days. Um, <clears throat> I want to see the changes. Can I see the changes? Nope. Okay, this is his hero guy. All right. Um, click learn more. I want to see the change log. I want to see everything that happened. I know you guys want to see a lot. And uh, <clears throat> I know they added a new game mode. It's called Turbo. You get more XP, more gold, and the games last a lot, lot shorter than they used to. This is great for practicing new heroes, new hero builds. And, you know, if you have some time, you can also practice with your friends. It's just great, great, great mode. Ability draft has been updated. I've heard about rank system that it's also been upgraded. So let's say they put a new ranking system, which goes every season. And then at the end of the season, it records your peak rank. And then the next season, you start from there or something like that. See if I can show you guys the spells of Pangolier. Oh, there we go. Check his first spell. This is what I was telling you about. Can we see it? Oh, this is the. Never mind. Maybe he's up there. Let's go see. Oh, yeah. So this is Vector. You point at a direction and then you click there. You see? You see? He, for example, he's going to click there and then put his mouse up, and that's the Vector thing. So you slide to a direction you choose, and then once you click on that direction, you have to choose, uh, like, a put your cursor mouse in a certain direction so you can attack there. And if he procs, look at this. He attacks. It's a debuff. Look. He's slowed. He's taking damage. It lasts for two seconds. And there's, like, an armor break around above its head. Now, the rolling thunder, look at this. He cuts trees. He destroys everything. He just goes up the hill, down the hill. He, he can jump. Look at that. He can use second spell while doing this. It's incredible. You push people back damage you can use vector ability however guys while you are rolling thundering if you use your first spell it's automatically going to cancel the rolling thunder now about the new heroes that was it i'm pretty sure they have put some new guides new items into the game as well they've did a new remodeling the ancient apparition there's a new pingwheel you can also troll your opponents um every owner of the blade form legacy now got a voice sound sorry not a voice sound um it's like a a voice pack for the hero that you can you now use like the crystal maiden ones they were in the past um there was a lot of changes we 
concerning the, the creep lanes, the reduction of the XP came from uh, Denied. However, creeps now grant more dam uh, melee creeps now give you more gold. And hero kills give you more gold. Basically, they're trying to speed up the game again. And what I don't like about it is that it's gonna really change the meta again, guys. All did this last year with the introduction of introduction of Dota 7, Dota 2 7.0 update with Monkey King. They changed the meta. Now they're gonna do it again. They're really reshaping the game and I, I'm not sure how this is going to affect the, you know, comp competitive gaming. Like, people have to develop new tactics right now, change items, change builds, because everything has changed. And trust me, guys, you probably don't know it yet. You're not aware of how deeply they changed the game, but they did. They did, trust me, you'll see it. Now, let me show you some new items, and the items have been reworked. So, all right. <clears throat> Etherlands now doesn't give you more spell amplification. Battle of Fury, they changed the recipe. <clears throat> by adding, uh, instead of Claymore, the Broadsword, they give you Demon Edge. <clears throat> okay, it's good. Uh, reduction from boots of speed to 45-40. Recipe change, they put Perseverance back instead of Solar Ring. Now, the Fusal Blade, this is amazing. Doesn't have upgrades anymore to Fusal Level 2. Doesn't have charges, so you can just use it every 15 seconds. It's amazing, guys. And it, it doesn't dispel. Okay, that's great. Okay, we've seen all those changes. Iron Talon has been removed from the game for all of you guys farming woods, going woods, being AFK 25 minutes. Well, you won't be able to do it anymore, because fuck you guys. You're not supposed to farm for 25 minutes. You're supposed to help your teammates. And all those players who farm for 25 minutes don't deserve to, you know, play Dota. Everybody hates those players. Don't be one of those players, guys. <clears throat> Monkey King. Oh my god, the bar has been improved. So... The first one gave you, the old one gave you True Sight, okay, and you had a chant procs 160 magic damage and a mini stun. But the new one is Hyperstone, two javelins, okay, so no more Demon Edge. It's Hyperstone. It gives you 60 attack speed and 75% accuracy. So basically, if you were missing, you, you have 75% chance more to hit the enemy. That's good. Um, accuracy, there's going to be more of that in the future, but I'm pretty sure if your opponent has like let's say 50% evasion, and you have 75% accuracy, that you're still going to be able to hit him easily with no missing. Oh yeah. That's good. Plus 60 pure damage proc. Alright, so every time you proc your accuracy, the attack of that will proc 60 pure damage. That's awesome. 60 damage is not bad. But if you have a demon edge and you have two attacks in a row, oh my god. Like, just huge damage. If you're PA, for example, if you hit somebody two times in a row, that's gonna be damage. Lincoln Sphere the same, we cannot cast it yourself, Magic Wand, alright. Two stats and health region, okay, this is good, I like this. You can still collect charges, but it gives you 1.5 health region, that's good. They remove the Archer's Mana Burn, but he, gain, he can now purge, that's good. They remove the Poor Man's Shield from the game. They added, wow, the Grise requires Claymore instead of B3 Hammer, not, not, you know, not a big change. They changed uh, Soul Ring, reworked it, provides six region. Sorry, six strength and two region. Um, they added Meteor Hammer. <clears throat> so now you're able to like cast a Meteor or something, yeah? Right. You channel for three seconds and then you summon a Meteor that strikes a 300 AoE bow and stuns for 1.75 seconds. So you get vision in that area, I guess. That You have a debuff that deals 60 damage per second. That's 300 damage to structures or 150 to non structures. So you kill the creeps or deal 300 damage to structures. That, that's badass. And you have a 60. Wow. Cast range 600, 40 second cooldown, mana 135. You have vision with, and meteor takes 1.5 seconds to land. This is great, guys. <clears throat> this is great for pushing lanes, for killing long range of creeps. And if you're playing defensively, like, you know, protecting yourself against those creeps. This is what you got to do. I, I think this is going to be like a new late game item where actually mid and late game item where people just want to defend against like uh, super creeps on a lane or like, you know, nature's prophet or <clears throat> Chan or all those heroes who summon additional units. Chan, Trance, whatever. Aeon Disc. Hmm. Vitality Booster, Energy Booster, Recipe. Provides 250 health, 250 mana, and 25% status resistance. Oh, guys. This reduces the duration of like dot effects on you and everything else. Okay. 
crowd control effects like fear, stun, disarm, root, CC. Plus, for DPS debuffs with slows, it instead just reduces the slow value. Okay, so it doesn't block the DPS, but it reduces the slow value. This is great. I like this. And a passive, whenever you take damage and are below 80% health, you apply strong dispel on your hero and you gain a 2.5 second buff. It reduces all. Wow, you become immortal for 2 seconds. 2.5 seconds. Okay. Okay, this is great. Player based damage. You cannot. Oh, it doesn't doesn't trigger on creeps. It doesn't trigger on Roshan. But if players kill you and if you drop low 80, you're gonna go 2.5 seconds immortal, which means they cannot touch you. Great. Spirit vessel. Um, Urn of Shadows, Fatality Booster, Wind Lace, and Recipe. Okay, I like the combination of these. We have like like low speed, health, and like region and health. <clears throat> okay. In addition to earned behavior, so it acts like an urn. You casting it on enemy target now reduces enemy HP region and heals. Okay, so you reduce their HP regeneration and all the heals they receive by 70%, and you drain 3% of their target's health per second. Now, what's the duration of this? Okay, for the duration of the urn. That's great. So 3%. Wow, you can you can like destroy that guy. This is a great item, guy. If you cast it on an ally, you increase and amplify their HP region and heal them by 20% for the duration. What? This is great. Um, Nullifier. Okay. Sacred Relic and Helm of Fire and Will. What? This is like damage and HP region. Yeah, exactly. Dispels the target and mutes them for 5 seconds. Oh, wow, they're adding mute to the game. Now, Silencer is not the only one to be able to mute. Anytime the muted target is attacked, it will be slowed by 100%. Wow. 0.4 seconds. It's like adding a bash from like a Monkey King bar to this item. So you attack him, you slow him down. You don't bash him, you slow him down. For 0.4 seconds. Apply slow and project the limp as well. Okay, great. Cool down 40 seconds. Mana cost. Uh, okay, this is good. I like this. 5 seconds. Wow. <clears throat> Kaya. What's a Kaya? Staff of Wizardry, Oba Magi, Recipe. Hmm. Kaya, I like that name. 16 Intelligence and 10% Spell Amplification. Okay, so they removed it and they put it right here. 10% Mana Cost and Mana Loss Reduction. What do you mean? Back to things like Mana Burn, Mana Break. Wait. 10% Mana Cost. Plus 10% Mana Cost. And Mana Loss Reduction. Does that mean that your spells cost 10% less? And that you, for, for example, if Anti-Mage is hitting you, you take 10% less damage from Anti-Mage? I guess that's how it works. They change the formula of region, of armors, of how much you gain attributes, of how much you lose. The attributes don't use to give the same armor like they did to. They don't use, they don't give the same health region as they did. They change the plot. <clears throat> and also, they change the heroes and talents, but I'm not going to go into that because there's so many heroes. 115 and 10 or 10. 15, I don't know. Is it 110 or 15? I'm not even sure, guys. But anyway, there's so many things they have changed. And I encourage all of you to go and play Dota because Dota is going to be popular again. Dota will be back. Two new heroes. Remember, guys, soon we're going to get Pudge or Kana, and that's going to be amazing. Because I love Pudge. Everybody loves Pudge. And I'm looking forward to new majors, new tournaments, new battle passes, and I just want to see them all. I want to collect them all. I want to get new mortals, new unique items that people with prestige, certain level of battle pass have. That's it, guys, for me. Um, see you guys in the game. What is this? Oh, wow. Personal rank tier. Wow, this shows like your uh, prestige after each season. I, I love, I like this already. It's going to be a huge one next to my trade. Yes, sir. Sure. All right. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this quick. It's rather quick review. It's not, you know, a long one, but it's, it's, it's a good one. And I don't know. I'll be seeing you guys in the future videos with future updates about games, about Dota, about PUBG. Wednesday, there's a PUBG update with the wall thing. I'll go into that in details and try to explain everything to you. I'll probably even do a compilation to show how that works. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and, you know, make sure you leave a thumbs up if you like this video. If you find it useful anyway, I would really appreciate it. It would mean to me a lot. Of course, if you want to stay in touch, stay connected, subscribe to the channel, leave, click the notification bar so you can get instant message every time I post a new video or do a live stream. 
you can also like my Facebook page, Spartan Ida with a zero at the end. And, you know, stay in touch with me there. Thank you guys for watching. Spartan out. And I'll be seeing you in the next video.